Hey, Gearaholic fans out there, it's me, Gearaholic, here, and I'm coming at you guys with a new review. Today's review is going to be over the Military Poncho Liner, or otherwise called a Whoopi. Um, basically, uh, I've had this one for quite a while now, I guess going on five or six years. I've had it, uh, you know, and, and used it here and there. Um, and I will actually say that it's probably a really warm, compact, uh, compact blanket, um, and it's really useful in those rolls. So, what can I say about this blanket? Well, um, the overall weight is going to be 22 ounces. Um, the dimensions are going to be 5 feet by 7 feet. Uh, and it adds an additional 15 degrees worth of warmth uh, to whatever system you're using it as even if it's a blanket or maybe adding it to a um, sleeping bag liner or as a sleeping bag liner. Um, this is a really great tool to have uh, in that arsenal. I would say the most comfortable time to use this alone or possibly with a poncho is probably down uh, from 60 degrees to 50 degrees. You know, on those really kind of chilly summer nights, that would be a perfect time to utilize this specific blanket. Um, it has so much usage during that time period that it almost makes a really great sleeping bag just by itself uh, for the summertime. Um, and I've used it as such before, and it is very comfortable, especially on a cot or maybe a blow-up mattress. So the outside material, which is 100% ripstop nylon, is really great. It helps reduce ripping um, when snagged on any kind of material uh, or whatnot. Maybe you remove the brush or, or something, or maybe you drop your sack and this is on the outside and it scrapes up against a couple rocks. It's not going to be completely damaged. Maybe a little bit of duct tape and you're back in business. And it's going to be just as warm as it really was. So that's a really good feature to have, especially on a blanket like this. The inside material, which is made out of 100% polyester, is really great. It's also known as batting. And what it does is it traps warm air uh, and creates a warm air barrier against your skin, which keeps you warm, just for those that didn't know. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So the proof of authenticity is going to be this little tiny sticker that's going to be on there. The most military uh, issued gear is going to come with this kind of green tag. It's basically like a care tag on how to take care of it, or usually it says like property of the U.S. government or whatever. Uh, and basically it, it just kind of has like wash, washing instructions and then the, everything that's made out of and whatnot. Um, but basically uh, this one, this particular blanket was made by Technology Products Manufacturing Corporation. Um, I'm not sure exactly where they're based out of, but they do make a good product. Uh, and this is basically your proof. Um, most Chinese knockoffs, which are really out there, um, they tend to not have any kind of tag like this. You know, this is a real specific tag that you only see on genuine uh U.S. military issued gear. So if you look for this tag, you're probably getting a 100% real uh, blanket. If you don't have this tag, you might want to question its uh, reliability and also um, its manufacturing processes that went into it. Um, not to say that it's not as good, um, it just may be inferior to the real thing. So if you're worried about that kind of thing, there you go, you have your information. If not, don't worry about it. Another cool thing about this is it has these little lanyard loops. Um, obviously those are used to tie to the inside of the poncho and there's one about every two feet or so. Uh, and they're, they're on every corner and kind of every two feet along the entire perimeter of the actual blanket itself. Uh, and that five by seven is pretty big. I mean, I'm a, I'm a six foot four inch uh, dude and, and this, thing, this thing laps me uh, at the toes, which is fine. And actually that's a, it's a really great thing because if you roll this up and stuff it inside of your sleeping bag, uh, it gives you a little bit of warmth uh, by your feet, which is which is really needed, especially for us tall guys. We got bad circulation, you know. So the poncho liner earned the name Whoopi during the Vietnam era. Because of that, basically guys would walk around with these blankets and they look like big babies. And that's basically, I think, how they got the name. Um, or at least that's what I could find. And that's kind of nice because during Vietnam, these guys in the jungles, they didn't want heavy wool blankets to put on their bodies. They wanted something lightweight, something easy to take off and on uh, as they got warmer or colder. And basic, that's where this came from, was that, was that design, that thought. In conjunction with using it in a, a poncho liner, it made a great bed uh, for overnight usage, especially while on patrols. And that was how the poncho liner was named to fame, basically. Pretty cool. Well, Gearholics, that's all I have to say for today. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Uh, as I always say, be safe out there and uh, stay warm.